Hi everybody. So I don't know how many times I have done this, but today I'm going to make a tutorial on how to use WP plus X. To me, it is very simple because I'm the one who made the plugin. But I understand that to you, it may be a bit strange at first. So I'll try my best to guide you through the plugin. And if you don't have any you have any problem with the plugin, I would appreciate that you let me know either in the comment section of this video or you can contact me at my website. I will leave the link to the support section of the plugin right in the description section of this video so uh, let's get started so the idea of WP plus X is to help you build squeeze pages very quickly it also helps you build pop-ups and widget so you can display on your website but that is the, the topic of another video Today, we're going to create a page very quickly with WP Lib plus X from scratch. So I'm in my dashboard here, and if you see that we have a menu item is here, WP Lib plus X. So I click here. So this is the welcome page of the pro version. However, if you are using the free version, you don't have any problem following this video because the pro version and the free versions are very similar. So in order to make a page, a squeeze page, we click on make pages here. And you can see that the interface it is very simple. On the left, you have the list of elements that you can drag into the center here, which is the content of the page you are going to build. And actually, all you need to do is to drag the elements, arrange them, and finally publish, publish the page. So for example, I'm going to create a very quick quick squeeze page for example I want to offer a free ebook for dog training so what can I do the first thing uh, before creating anything is to have a plan of the final product so I imagine that my final product my final page would have a heading a subheading then a video, then a form for users or subscribers to enter their details, usually emails, and uh, maybe name, or if you have more fields to, to capture, then you can put as many fields as you want. And one thing that I, I hear people ask most of the time is, um, how 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 can how can I capture the email? So that is uh, the responsibility of an autoresponder. So there are many many autoresponder available. The the most popular one would be Mailchimp. It has a free plan, which I think uh, suitable for for the, the starter, you can uh, have up to 2,000 subscribers and 12,000 emails per month. So if you have 2,000 subscribers, then you can send twice monthly. Another one I would recommend is GetResponse. And, oh, it has translation tunnel which makes the page
page looks uh, ugly but this is the page and they have the free plan to which uh, offer the first month for free so this is it so this is the two things I would recommend you and there are there are big players on the on the market such as a Weber uh, convert kit and uh, I I recommend you try all those things to find out what is the best option for you but if you need basic uh, functionalities of an autoresponder so I uh, would would recommend you stick with MailChimp or get response so back to WP plus X so, uh, as I mentioned that I uh, I think that my page my squeeze page would have a big heading then a small heading then a video then a form so I will drag the elements on the page so the heading will be a paragraph subheading another paragraph a video so I have YouTube video here and finally a form for me to capture the email you can see that uh, we have very basic page here which isn't uh, isn't isn't pretty at all but uh, I'm going to add some styles to the page to make it looks a bit better so for example I want to offer a free dog training I'm going to YouTube you should place your videos instead but I'm going to just copy a random dog training video so uh, to edit the video I would click I would hover my cursor on the video this is the the placeholder you should replace uh, the video this video with your own so I, I click on the pencil icon here and when you hover on this icon you will see the text edit appears click on that and simply paste the my video right here and you see that I have my doctrine video appears here you can either either hide the info hide controls and make the video auto play but I, I wouldn't do that so I'm going to add a very quick header for a this free report how to train your dog without tricks and I will go to center that increase the size or change the text to heading 1 maybe heading 2 and this is a subheading it will be struck I'm not the best copywriter on the on the market, uh, so that is what uh, I can come up with. I can increase the size, like 22, something like that. And I have the heading, the subheading, the video. Finally, I have my form here. So to edit the form, you can simply hover the cursor here. And you see that this green bar, this is the editor of the form. Click on that, click on the edit, edit icon of the form here. And here you paste the code you get from your own uh, autoresponder. I'm going to leave this as default here. And finally, I'm going to publish the page. But before that, I need to give it a name. So go to settings, free dog training videos. So I click on save as, and you can save it as a new page or a custom post. So if you save as a new page, it will be 
a regular WordPress page and it will be indexed by Google and other search engines. If you save it as a custom post, then it will be a custom post and will not be indexed by search engines. So that is the difference between the two. And there's one uh, called variant here. That will be a topic of another video. I'm going to save it as a page. And you will see that there's a button here. Uh, view page appears. I click on this button. And sure enough, we have our landing page here. And you can say that, wow, this is, this is ugly. And I agree, so let's add some style to this page. So I'm going to add some padding to uh, this box, this uh, box with the green dash here. This is the container of all of our elements. And it is, it is the, the row. And you can hover on the page and you see that at the bottom left, you have the row editor here. So I'm going to increase the padding and maybe add a background color to the page, to, to this box. So this is, you see that we have padding here. This padding top, padding right, padding bottom, padding, le padding left. And you can see, you can understand by looking at the orange color here. So I'm going to add 30 at every every side. And I'm going to add some border radius. Ten. And color would be okay. Maybe maybe this. Okay. And I will also I may decrease the width of the page by clicking on settings. Currently it has seven hundred pixel in width. And for the simple landing page like this, I would like to make it five hundred and twenty. So it looks a bit better. So we are going to update the page and go back, reload this, and you see that we have a better looking uh, squeeze page. But maybe you want to increase the margin of this box to the top. No problem. So uh, still with the row, click on this pencil icon, go to style, go to margin. And you can guess that we are going to add some margin to the top. So for example, 50 pixel, click on update, go back, reload, and sure enough you see that we have nice margin here. How about adding a background color, background image to this page? So I'm going to pixel. This is the page that you can get very very nice uh, background image high quality images for free and without any any license I don't know I mean that you don't have to pay for the the creator of the images so I may get some green fill review image and this this may be a good choice so uh, I would recommend you take uh, the small image because big image may slow down your size speed. So I select uh, 640 and 381, but you may want to to use this option to have better better quality of the of the image. So I download this and I'm going to settings style background image and this is where we can set the background image for the whole Swiss page I click on this folder icon to select the to select the image I know where it is it should be in downloads 
this is it. Use this image. You see nothing because uh, I have disabled the preview inside editor for various reasons. Before previewing, we need to set a bit of option, no repeat, of course, and cover. So, update the page, go back here, reload, and sure enough, you see that we have a very nice background image. But you can also notice that we have transparent problem here. So the final thing I want to do is edit this row, go to style and set it background color to white because by default all elements uh, has transparent background. So I select this, click on OK, click on update, go back to our page, reload, and we see that we have nice white background parts here on a nice background image. So you may want to play with the width of the page and the padding. So for example, you want to decrease the size to just 500 and increase the padding of the row. The padding here, increase the padding to the right and the left, wait 50, 50, update, go back, reload and you see that we have a different different squeeze page. So um, that is how you can create a squeeze page very quickly with WP plus X. I hope the video is useful to you and if you have any questions as I mentioned in the beginning of the video please leave a comment below or you can go to this website this is my website by the carpenter I uh, publish uh, tips and tricks about WordPress here and you click on support here and simply open a support ticket on WP plus X and I will get in touch with you very very soon again thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next videos